Hey everybody, I hope you're all nice and cozy. It's Glenn and May. We're playing 999. May, do you want to give us the recap? I went through the one door and found a very shocking surprise that basically there was somebody with a zero wristband, yes. which there was a lot of discourse around. We learned that B Clover basically told us that Snake wasn't dead after like reviewing the evidence in like the ship captain's quarters or whatever, mm -hmm. because just mathematically it wouldn't be possible. So basically we went through, you know, as suspicious as we were of Ace. Ace is really harmless. Everybody in the group is harmless. There's no way anybody could have done anything, uh, no matter how much the game wants you to turn against each other. Oh, except Santa. I forgot about <laughs> Santa. You forgot when uh, Santa had the gun? being really weird and crazy so um basically after we got out of room one we we went to this little room where there were two nine doors that's right and when deciding which one to go through santa took a gun and put it to june's head and forced seven and lotus to come with him through one of the nine doors leaving i guess it would be us and uh <laughs> i like how we're confused um, so I believe it was, way, there was seven <laughs> lotus. There's a coffin and that Santa there was June noise coming to. from. We didn't have the code to open it. So it was a to be continued ending. To be continued. How surprised were you about that? Very surprised. A little underwhelmed because we're still like, it looks like maybe this is one of the more, this is like the intended ending potentially. Mm. Um, but maybe not the intended steps to get there. So I guess I'm interested to see if the other things play out in a similar fashion or like how all that works, I guess. Because we were talking last time about how it might be necessary for like getting keys or something. Yes. Yep. Okay, we'll see how it all plays out as we load our save file here. Do it. <laughs> I so, Wait, okay, can you remind me where in the tree we decided we we're just going back to door six? Yep. So we are on the flow chart here and we're now going through door number six of these three doors. Okay, so I forget, did you say we were supposed to do some backtracking or are we just Um so we're going to we're gonna we're going to eventually head back to these other paths after we finish uh some more down here. Okay. Okay, so we're going through door six. Teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, oh. June and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? <sighs> uh, what about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as their attitudes as about their doors being like so like door and no one will be left like here. cavalier about their choices is really confusing. And then they like bend from their choice. <laughs> It's like, it's like so you don't easy. even know what's behind the door. Why, why does it matter? Yeah, it's like it's, I don't know. They just took very strong stances, but then like, they're like, oh, okay, we'll do this. <laughs> this it's just weird. The most reasonable solution. I don't know what to make of it. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right, then. We're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. I forget where this door is E deck. Oh, right. door six was like really low, like underwater, there be a door right? At the end of the hall. Yeah, end it's of... a, it's kind of in a weird place. All right, it's like let's... across from door two a little bit, or it's like near door two. Huh, I'm. I guess we're gonna be finding a gun. <laughs> Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. I wonder if we can stop Stanta Let's from getting it. it.
Hey, I found it. It's right there. They're getting better at finding it. <laughs> Yeah, they never freak out. Uh, <sighs> it stopped. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. This is maybe an unusual request. Um, could we switch to the other type of dialogue. I feel like I have a really hard time reading this for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can switch to we can switch to this. But it's not locked. Thanks. I know you, I know you wanted to keep it however we were doing it, just because it's how it was on DDS. But I feel like I'm for whatever reason my eyes are just Whoa, not following what it. The hell is this? This has to be the biggest room Tonight. so far. The ceiling is pretty high too. Huh? Could be two stories. Maybe even more. Whoa. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa. You can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes. That thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right. Let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Oh. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, yes, it probably is. Ah, the fever. I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. I just need to rest and I'll be fine. Okay, okay, uh, here, sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Okay, here we go, let's get out of here. The steam engine room. Okay, a conveyor belt. We gotta put something in here, don't we? Dumb waiter. Not dumb later, I guess. Oh, terminals. Three key cards or something. That looks like a stop button. <laughs> I guess we need the cards to do that. Yeah. So it goes up to the ceiling. This room is disoriented. It is. <laughs> There's like a big cog. A golden, a golden Gear. That's a game. Yeah. Is that right? Guilty Gear? Guilty Gear. <laughs> <laughs> I think a Golden Axe, too. Mm, okay. Mm, the Golden Gear is interesting.
Hmm. Uh, what about all these things? Furnaces. Check the other side. I think the... How do we get to the other side? Oh, I think this is oh, the other that side. side. That side. And we need to get some coal. Hmm. I'll start being naughty and we'll wait till Christmas. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we have that much time. <sighs> yeah. I guess it was 12, 12, 12. No, I guess that would make sense. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> 12 months till Christmas. Yeah, if we had 12 months, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> For sure. Maybe. Man, we just need coal. Just Where can we get some coal at? Oh, wait, we Let's can go over here. That box got coal in it for sure. Oh. There's nothing okay. in them? Seriously? What about the bags? Look, Ace. It's some kind of snowman secret meeting. Those are just bags full of sand. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can go up the stairs. There's like a machine here. We have to insert some sort of item. Oh, that's the exit. Interesting. Can we look at this any further? Three circles laid on top of each other in a triangle. That's not what I thought of whenever I saw it, but sure. There's nothing there. Okay, what about up here? This is definitely a puzzle. Nothing happened. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find out how to pull that whenever we go further in the room. This is like the second story, I guess. There's an A on this door. Oh, wow, it actually opened. One of them's got to. Oh, are we on the opposite side? Yeah, we're on the other side. almost like a maze. The catwalk. Okay, so we can use these doors to get across the catwalk. I'm so like lost in this room. <laughs> it's okay. I think I I think I got it so far. Okay, if you've got it, then I'll tr I'll trust you on this one. I just I'm getting so turned around. <laughs> we we got a wheel. That's not coal. Oh. 
It broke all by itself. Candle find you. <laughs> it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, to be honest. Yeah. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go back through the door. We'll go over to this side through the C door. Oh, can we use it here? So this is this is a different one. Yay. I never really placed my microphone for this stream. Hmm. But now it's where it needs to be. That's good. The wheel only turns to the left. You'd only let the rope down. Ace is being very supportive. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's got to be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? Hmm. Okay, let's head back down to the wooden box. Oh, it was over here. It was, is it this one? No. This one? Control panel for oh, something. No. Oh, do you see the thing in the back? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's put it in. In you go. Wow. Dude, you did it. <laughs> Everything looks all right. Something's turning on. Please have coal. Yay, coal time. Yeah, we can use this coal. Box filled of coal. Yep. Eat it. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. We're going to put it into this furnace. We're not going to eat it. Maybe next time. Hmm. <laughs> A man can dream. <laughs> 
Oh. I'm really interested to see what happens with the other crew. Right. Since yeah. they're going through door one. Kind of random thought, but. Pour ourselves some coal into the furnace. A fresh glass of coal. Okay, that's sufficient. Our matches. Is it the levers on the wall? Hmm. Who would have thought? Like these ones up here? Oh yeah, the lights are on. Okay, the big gears are turning. Full motion video, beautiful. Okay, so it looks like the gears now have a thing inside them. We got a gold disc. It has lines engraved on it. And then- There's a place for those somewhere, right? Yeah, on the top, on that, on the exit, next to the exit door, right? Hmm. Oh, so this is our key out. I guess so. Presumably. It seems like these, these doors here have two shorter ones, like back to back. Right, right. Which I don't mind, I guess. It's better than normal. Stick them in. We got to twist them, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, rotate them. Oh, we can also switch them around. Oh boy, okay. Those are the switching. Yeah. It looks like we're supposed to make a sun, maybe, or something. That's what it looks like. Um, we just have to figure out how to layer them, perhaps. Yeah. I think gold needs to go. See, there's outlines of where they need to be, it looks like. It looks like the silver one's where it needs to be, but the bronze and the gold ones need to switch because the outlines are different. Perfect. Yeah. A star polygon. I didn't know you were a star polygon, Glenn. <laughs> you, you found, found it. it. I guess. <laughs> yes, the door's open. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on this door. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Oh, Junpei! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Go where? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! Oh, it's... Santa? What are you looking at? It's a photo. Uh -oh. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half Oh, jeez. June, come on. <laughs> sorry. He said was. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. Pretty soon, the white Santa couldn't stand it anymore, and he stabbed the black Santa to death. When he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood all over his clothes, and that's why, these days, his clothes are red. You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. It's deep. I wonder <laughs> which Santa I am. The white Santa? Wow. And the black Santa. You're wearing both, dude. It's okay. People are complex. Oh. <sighs> all right, let's go. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving, come on! Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Let's go. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. Find the exit. This room's a lot smaller. This is the appreciated cargo room. Cargo room. Oh, I keep clicking on the box. I want to click on the that thing was a above. That's a good the joke. <laughs> I just want to say. <laughs> Bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in them. Card with a headshot. That's interesting. It's a quad. Hmm. We got another card. Hmm. The children of the other crates. You ever think uh, about okay, how crates okay. treat people? All right. There's like a fence here. Oh, it's an electric fence. Yeah.
Interesting. An electric fence. What's with this little tiny box? That's their kid. I see. Well, we can't go over there. <laughs> 